All right, so we're going to make a wall this guy. Um, again, we really simplified this, so the bottom of the wall, um, I guess we look at it in this view, the bottom of the wall is corresponding with this, and we've kind of, you know, simplified everything. So the bottom of the wall is here, and the top of the wall is here. So in the 3D perspective, I have this guy, which is going to represent the bottom of the wall. And then I need something to get the top of the wall, which rests on this plane here. So I'm just going to extrude that curve, right? So I extrude that curve sort of out here, right? And then let's just move that so it was over the top of that other guy. And then we can come in and let's go to the 3D view here so it's in the... Let's reset the C plane to top view here, right? Um, and let's project that red line. So there it is onto that surface. Um, so I'm just going to project this guy, whoops, that guy onto this guy, right? So you can see him sort of here. Um, let me take a look at it. It's not quite right. Um, let's set the C plane to this um, surface and then we'll um, we'll scale it. So just set the C plane there so it's moves with that. So let me, uh, let me pick that guy and let's kind of scale it out. I don't know. It seems like we ought to just leave it centered. It's all right if it's a little wonky, I think. Um, and then we'll pull this one out, you know, somewhere to there. Okay, so I don't know. Again, I'm not being super exact, but I don't think that this guy was perfectly exact. I guess that's a little dramatic over there. If you want it to be less dramatic, then the center is different, right? So um, we would pull this, pull this in a little closer and then move it, you know, kind of to there. All right, so we'll use that one. Uh, I'll take this guy and flip him to our extras. And then I'm just going to pick, I guess we could turn off the, I'm going to turn off these two guys, turn that off, um, and turn off the structure. And we've got our sort of two lines that are representing the wall. Let's go ahead and reset that to top so it doesn't look so funky. All right, so got our C plane. And I'm just going to pick this and go to File, Export, Selected, and I'll export it as a DWG again. And I'm just going to, uh, we'll call this 2D Wall. Okay. And um, the options, we'll just do it as default. Click Save. And click OK. And that guy will go out there. And then I can go into Revit. And I can go to um, Architecture, Component, Model in Place. And I'll do another mass, right, um, for the walls. So if I go to Mass, click OK. And I'll call this Wall. Okay, and then I'll go to insert and um, let's just import the CAD. We can, it's another way to do it, but um, go here, 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 right? So there's the 2D wall, and if I click open, those guys come in, right? They kind of are corresponding. Um, you could, you know, if, if it will work. You know, um, let's see if it will let us just pick those two guys. So if I tab select in, right, it's letting me pick that one and that one. And if I tab select in, it's letting me pick that one and that one, right? And if I create form, it's going to create, you know, that form for the walls. And then I can go in, finish that mass, and if I go to um, architecture, wall, wall by face, right, I can go grab whatever 
you know, exterior wall I want. So if I just go to, let's go to a generic eight inch and I'll edit that type and duplicate it and I'll call it eight inch, eight inch concrete. And okay, and I'll edit. Whoops. All that stuff down. And I'll put, maybe we'll put um, more work. Concrete board formed on there, right? Click OK. Let's see, what does that look like? Yeah, and if we click on that, what does that look like? How big is that? Is that if I reset it already? I have reset it larger. So we'll leave it there and see what it looks like. Actually, five foot six by four foot, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's four inches. Why don't we just make this ten foot? Or maybe make that eight foot. Seems like the height would be more important. We'll see what it looks like. And I'll click OK. And click OK. And click OK. And then I'll just go to architecture and wall, wall by face. And I guess it depends. Looks like maybe the wall center line, right? So pick that, pick that, right? It's a little funky the way that it's doing it, right? Like it's, I don't know why it's reversing itself right there, but that's a little, little weird, right? So, um, it's annoying. Oh, Revit. Well, we'll just live with it for right now. Um, so if I go to um, realistic, it should have the board form concrete on there, right? Wow, this one's really weird. I guess it's because it tapers down like that. It's having a hard time figuring out how to do it. I um, guess it could be possible. I mean, we could actually do a blend wall. Like maybe I'll come back and do a blend wall and we can see um, if that would work. 